Hey, Coffee by Gillespie friends. Um, I haven't actually done a brewing video. So there's been some questions about how to brew a pour over coffee. And I thought maybe uh, be helpful just to show you my current method and see what you think. So here we go. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to have to do this all one handed, is you want to turn on your kettle, get it up to the temperature you want. I've had, got mine set at 195. That'll work. Uh, this is a V6002 from Hario. All right. And the first thing you want to do is take the seam here and fold this over. All right. And that'll help that filter fit properly inside fit inside the pour over. Now, a pour over is really the same as an automatic brewing method, except it's just not automatic. All right. So now my filter fits nicely in there. I can set it upon my cup. That filter uh, was bleached, so we actually want to do a nice rinse of that filter. All right, so we'll do that. Now that's ready to go. Now we need to weigh out our coffee. And if you watched my last uh, quarantine video, you know on the importance of weighing coffee. And I just use uh, the lid here to weigh it out upon. So I'll turn on my scale. All right, and we're going to weigh that out. I'm going to use 20... 20 grams for my recipe here today. All right, so get that close. There we go, 20 grams. Then we're gonna add that to the barata. Good. Now, the, re the recipe I'm gonna do actually isn't as sensitive to grind as some, uh, but I've got it set to 18 here. You could move it if you want a little bit um, darker cup or richer cup, you could move it a little bit finer grain. If you want a little bit brighter, move it towards the 20. All right, so grind away. Let's see what that's doing there. Okay. This is a conical burr grinder. All right, and we talked about that in different types of grinders in a previous video. All right, so you can see the coarseness of that grind a little bit. Excellent. All right, now we can return this to the scale. We want to tear this out. Good. Add our coffee. Confirm the amount. Again, it's 20. All right, so tear that out. Uh, our water's up to temperature. We're ready to start our timer. And we're going to add three times the amount of coffee weight in water weight. All right, so we're going to add 60 grams. We'll do it in just nice circling motions. All right, and we're going to let that bloom. See, it's blooming. The air is escaping. And do that for about 30 seconds or so. Once I get to 30, I'm going to add another 60 grams. Again, three times that original weight in coffee. And again, you want to... Not hit the sides if you can avoid it. Go around the perimeter. Good. Now this is was roasted yesterday, so you can see it's still blooming a little bit, but that's all right. Again, once we hit about a minute, add another 60 grams. You can see the pattern here. And each of these applications of water with this V60 method um, is going to extract some different components out of the coffee. Yeah, just a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna let that go another 30 seconds or so. Now we're gonna add 60 more grams. And I'm not actually too worried about hitting the side. Sometimes I do that just to help clear off any of that coffee that's clinging to the sides. All right. I found this method actually to be really consistent. V60s are a challenging broom um, device because the opening at the bottom, the aperture is very large. And that large aperture means that uh, if you don't get the grind right or if you don't apply the water right, it might draw through really quickly or really slowly. But with this uh, every 30 second pulse, and again, three times the original coffee weight and doing that, uh, let's see, that would be five times. I find that the brew time is just right where you want it. The extraction is done really well. It's not as sensitive to the roast level um, or to the solubility of the coffee. 
All right, so it's dripping. Again, I was targeting 300 grams, that is 300 milliliters, and it's still drawing down. Now you can start to see the top of the bed. And I usually like to target about three and a half minutes, three to four minutes. You can see we're at three and a half minutes, and it's pretty much done dripping. So yes, you can see the bottom of a V60 has a very large aperture. And so we want to make sure that coffee stays at the bottom of um, the cone and that the water stays applied to it consistently. So there you go. That's uh, brewing just a, well, it's really two cups of coffee, 300 milliliters with a Hario V60 O2. Uh, that method, that pulse method of uh, three times the coffee weight every in, in water every 30 seconds or so, it makes a really nice cup. Mm, this is our Brazil coffee and sweet and rich, really delightful. So try it out if you don't have a V60. Um, if you are the only coffee drinker in your home, this is a great way to make a nice cup of coffee and doesn't take very long, just four minutes. All right, see ya.